All right, she's pretty tight. Yes, I see that from your tight pants. Yes, you are tight like a tiger. Hey fams, Mark here back yet again from Zombie Modifications. Today, as you can see, I am swapping out my brakes on my Honda Civic 96 EK2 Honda Civic. They come stock with rear disc brakes. With uh, rear drum brakes, sorry. This is a drum brake. There are two center horseshoes on the inside that clamp down to give you your braking force. Here is an EK4 from a 1998 EK4 Civic. As you can see, we have disc brakes. It is a rotor and a disc. These are way more reliable. This is the ABS module version, so I will show you how to take the ABS off to convert it to a regular Civic brake, regular disc brakes. As you can see, the rotors are a little bit rusty. They could do it with a little bit of cleanup, but that's a later date. We just need to get these on. Now, they are a straight swap. It is a very easy swap. As you can tell, it's just taking the whole trailing arm off, putting the next trailing arm on. Now I have done footage of a brake test with the rear drum brakes, and I will be doing a test with the rear disc brakes. Now in saying that, I have a lot of work to do. I'm only halfway, so let's get this finished up. Block the front of your car off. Because when you're dealing when taking brakes off, your handbrake ain't gonna do much. Always after dropping your jack, check whether your jack stands are in place and sturdy before doing anything. As safety precaution, 
just put your tires under the car because if anything happens, the tires there, more space, the better. Okay, uh, these and on the other side as well. And then the handbrake will have two levers on the back and they'll be taken out. should have the centers console be removable just like that so here on your handbrake you have these two little cables they will uh, have a drop down just in behind here That will drop down under your chassis. So you might not need to do your carpet up. I'm gonna to try to do it without it. But you just gotta unhook this by undoing this bolt, release the tension, pop them out. All right, so I've got 11 and a 12 here. Yeah. She's a 12. Okay. All right, so we've gotta release this really slow because uh, as the brakes are being, you know, this is what's holding up everything. So we have to take this bracket off it. slide back through there but I have to get them out of this first there you go see just like that flick it towards it just like that boom and they are released all right now push those back a bit and we'll see you under the car Make sure you hit the like and subscribe and if you like it drop a comment about what you like the most I like working on cars this is what I really want to do reaction is just an in-between okay can we just tuck that in there? Can we tuck that through there? Oh, she's pretty tight. Oh, she's pretty tight. Yes, I see that from your toy pants. Yes, you are tight like a tiger. Let's try to tuck this out. Got it. Hey Phil, whoa boy. And look, we have our cables. All right, we should be able to pull these cables out. Little bit of rusting around the hole. That's not a good sign. Oh. Right. Just so you can all see. Under that heat shield, you've got your two grommets. Those are the brake levers that we got out. Now we've just got to feed them through these holes. There's um, 
quite a little bit of rust. Right. Now that we've done all of that, we need to feed these cables back through the holes, which are about here. So you literally just push them back through. Alright, now I'm popping back through. So these cables are actually like tensioned on by like screws all through the place. So um, I'm going to undo these screws, which are 12s. Oh well. The recording part is really hard. Because I, I am not good at situating things on where I need to be. Like, that's my fault. So it's this one here. This one here. That one there. And that one there. Alright, I will uh, be back when I do it because I can't get the camera angle right. So for the one that I really couldn't get, I've chucked it on up on the inside and that's cracked it enough for me to be able to get it out. On the other side there was one mission one too. I'll slide down and show you how I got it. And this um black Honda cap took that out and to get up in there see if I was taking that bolt out yeah that's how I got those two they were problem ones sweet I'll get back to you when I'm outside from under the car right, last thing you want to do before you go um, is any one of these screws is you oh, hold up get a little bit better angle can't quite see it on camera. Sort of, there's like little notches right there that you can just sort of just see them. You see them a lot better in real life. Yeah, that's a better angle, there you go. Those notches is how they do your wheel alignment. So to keep the wheel alignment you've got at the moment because we are changing the whole trailing arm, so all of this will be changed. All of this will be changed. You want to mark with a vivid or with anything that just won't wipe off where the bolt is corresponding to those marks. It will just get you back in a rough, a rough estimate. You definitely want to go for a wheel. There's a little uh, circlip there. Hold up, I'm just going to tighten this back up because we're going to get fluid everywhere. We're going to get some um, cardboard boxes. All right, let's get, let's get some clamps out. Cause those little clips can be absolutely annoying. There you go, I got it, I got it. Bent it a little bit. These clips can be so annoying. All right, so that looks that. Freely move. How do I get it out of there? Oh, I've got my ratchet, buddy. Let's see if I can. Uh... I don't think I will be able to suck Sharini on then that one. Oh yeah, I can do that though. Push that up. Put that on there. Sweet. That will uh, fill up right there. It's welded enough. Okay, so yeah, we're taking off this nut right here.
All right. First screw down. We have our ship. Okay. Let's get these screws out. Tell you what it feels like. I can't tell you what it really is. I can only tell you what it feels like. Yeah, here we go. We're dropping. We're dropping. We're dropping, boys. We're dropping. We're dropping tilted towels. We're dropping tilted towels. Be free game. Should be free game, boys. All right. Oh, looks like we've got a connection somewhere. No, we don't. It's just sliding her out. Just kick everything. Here. <clears throat> Damn it, now I'm losing my voice. Here we have our rear disc brakes. We have to convert these to a non-ABS disc brake. Now, the thing about Honda is it's all just plug and play. So, the ABS on this is literally just plug and play. The difference between the rear disc brakes non ABS in the rear disc brakes ABS is literally this wire running along here all you need to do is to take this wire off simple Probably because the nuts on the bottom. That's actually pretty convenient, Honda. It's pretty convenient. The nuts here on the bottom, mate. Oh, I was getting seen for a while. Ghost chase. Just undo this nut. Already ripped my, my bloody glove. Even though I just changed it because I ripped the other one. Get in here. Give her the old clipperoonie. Yep. Do the same. There's another 10 mil way up and in there. Oh, there's two 10 mils up and way up and in there. Up and in here, there is one, two, I'm hoping that's just two, because there might be, if there's one in behind that rotor, that's going to be a real problem. And that should be, yep, so it was only those ones, that, that's good to know. And that's the official 
ABS module out. That's both ABS modules taken off. My camera tripod is now broken. So I have to get a new one. Fun time. And so just as I said that, it snapped. Uh, fun times. I'm gonna have to get someone to record now. Driver's side officially off. And with that, next two. All done. Now, take this little cap that I took off my other one and slap it inside the old brake lines. Just finger tight. And that will just keep these free rolling even though there ain't much fluid left in them. You will have to jack this back up to put the other one on and lock it all in. But uh, I uh, won't be doing that right to the end. So we will skip to that and I'll show you how. We're, we're gonna start with this, these two bolts first. And then we're gonna start with the bolt that runs through here. Cause this one is the one that's tricky to get in. And once you get those two in, or those three in technically, then it should be free hanging from there. You can adjust and wiggle around. We'll snap to when we've got. All right guys, this is where you jack up. Just your strut. And you can see how the arm lifts up instead of the vehicle. Now that should put this bolt in line. So if you can, uh, yeah, there we go, see that line? See how out it is on the back? That's what you're looking to pull in. Now, you've got to really jimmy around a little bit here to try pull that side in. Because without that side pulling in, we're gonna have no work here. And if we thread this bolt, we are screwed because they are hella expensive. See those lines in it? Stops it from moving. So, specialized bolt. I've almost threaded it already, as you can see. So, let's jimmy this one. There you go. I've got, just gotten it to drop down. I think that's in line. So you just hit it. Boom! She's in. Just like that. See? Jimmy around. And now that this is all freestanding, before, I found it really difficult to get these bolts in here. And I was almost cross threading them on the other side. This is why I'm doing this side. Because uh, I wasn't having it sit freestanding like it is now, Go a little bit higher, see it just pumps it up, now that it's freestanding, boom, we can get that bolt in there, so what I want to do is I want to push her in, just like that, get in there, hold her true, and nice and gently go in, don't, don't just hammer it in, because if you hammer it in, you're going to have the same problem I almost ran into on the other side. Just like that, see? And it'll fall into place. Now, you don't want to do it straight up all the way. Because the first one you want to do all the way is this one here, which I've just done before. And now, the second one is this bolt here. The marked bolt. Oh. And as you can see... Just, I can see where I can put that black mark. Right there. Because the uh, CRC, the WD-40, sorry, that I chucked on it, has obviously taken it off. Lift this up and drive these in. Make 
make sure that ain't going nowhere. Drive the other two under here in. Who's gonna let me get my feet from under it? It was a little bit fast, but there we go. We now have two right sides on either side. I'll jack her back up in the center. Good. That's everything. All right. I will uh, skip to having now being inside the the Civic. All right, guys, back under the car. We're following your brake line. You've got the first little niggly bracket in there. See that little bolt? Yep. That one right there. Point of finger at. Yep. Follow it along. That just will sit up there with another bolt. Boom. And then your cord will go up through these holes with the grommet. And that one for the other side. I'll be back when I've got both of them and inside because there's nothing else to show until I'm hooking them right up. Okay, there's really not much room under here, but as you can see, I've just gotten one of these grommets in. So the tactic that I'm using, as you can see, it's got like two little lips. The second lip needs to go around that little rusty hole there on the Civic. So what I'm using, oh, let me stretch around, there's a button knife. And I'm folding back that first layer and then pushing the second layer into the hole and sort of kneading it in. Now, this is recording upside down, so I'm probably going to have to flip this video. But um, that's the process that I'm doing to get past the kneading the seal into the hole. So, the exact opposite of um, what I did before. You go on the angle, get that in there, boom, let it sit down, oh, it's not sitting straight, there we go, and put in place, do it the same with the other side, yeah, no way I can actually get this off. That would be so much easier. It looks like it's coming out actually. Yep. Got the center part, as you can see the part that it connected with. Yep. Let's make it a little bit harder with that center part on. But that's still manageable. See, still manageable. See, all it is now is that it's the fact that it's on an angle. Is that it's gone and um, angled itself. So it won't seat down, well not properly, not until it sits straight. And I uh, just stopped recording, but that got on just like that. So I twisted it up like that and then it popped into the place. So now, let's get our brake tensioner in here. Oh, well. Oh, it's quite hard to get in there.
All right, last part but not least, I've just done the brake check, uh, the bolt check, is to fill up your reservoir, seal it over. Got my trusty assistant. Oh, that's the, we'll be going on last, the heat shield, because I don't want to do that before I make sure that the brakes are good. I grab a little reservoir. And this. And I will angle you like so. This one here on the nipple. Yeah, we cracked it, guys. I don't know if you actually got that, but I, I was in the way and I cracked it. All right. All right. Chris, pump your brakes. Is One, two, three, hold. There we go. There you go. On the other side. Yeah, here you go. Yeah, here you go. You told me to. This is just the tedious part of just going back and forth. Back and forth. Alright, so that's the bleeding done on one side. So we will cut to the next one. And done. Woo! Rear disc brakes officially on. Woo! As you can see, they will be uh, mismatch. I think one of them's pretty straight, and the other one's quite slant. So yeah, this one actually goes in a bit. And so does that one actually. So it actually is uh, towing in a bit, camber inside. It's got some negative camber. That's definitely why you want to get a wheel alignment after you've done something like this. Well, let's see the girl moving under her own weight, eh?
now we'll cut to the final result. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy